Hey everyone, this is Q&A with Coach MJ, week number four. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Thank you for subscribing, sending your questions, and most of all, sharing with your friends because I'm here to help you reach your goals. First question, Mary Zwiefel asks, can you explain the theory of heart rate training pros and cons? Well, Mary, I can't answer all of that in this quick little video, but I can tell you that ideally in most races, you never want to hit zone five. And the reason for that is because your body builds up more lactic acid than it can flush out. And what that does is affect the rest of your performance. So when you talk about not being able to hit those numbers on the bike or the run, you probably went a little too fast on the swim, or maybe you went too fast on the bike, you couldn't hit those run numbers. The problem though, is that all the devices we use to measure heart rate are in a delayed response. So at the time that you're actually going over your that zone, you don't even know until 20, maybe 30 seconds later. So that's kind of the problem. Now, that's with a heart rate monitor. If you have a power meter on a bike, that's the number one way to go uh, if you have one. So until they come up with something better for us to measure on a run, heart rate's the way to go. Great question. Next one is kind of a two-parter. It's JQ and Carrie. JQ asks, WTC, USAT, good, bad, pain in the butt. And then Carrie followed up with Ironman versus other triathlon brands. Well, the cool thing about WTC and USAT is you know what you're going to get. Uh, it's it's top of the line. You know the course has been measured. It's been certified. Lots of times they'll have officials that'll make sure that there's no drafting on the bike. Uh, so there's a lot more expense involved. There's a lot more athletes. There's a lot more competition. There's a lot more spectators. So it depends on what you want. Uh, grassroots, you may come to an A station, I don't know, they say they're 15 miles apart, but it might be 12, it might be 17, it might be some grandma with her grandkid handing out water, and, that, and that's okay, uh, but it's a little bit different. It's a lot less professional than a WTC USAT race. And so if you're gonna do your first Ironman, I would definitely recommend a WTC race because you want that support, you wanna know what you're gonna get, you don't want any variables in there. After you do a few, eh, doesn't matter, I guess. It's up to you. So that's a great question. Next one, Amanda. Transition etiquette space issues in IM. Do we take transition packs back to our cars after setup? Well, I think Amanda might mean half Iron Man because she just did Steelhead last weekend. And congratulations, Amanda, you did great. Uh, but when it comes to transition, less is more. I do a lot of transition clinics and I always tell people only bring what you need and nothing more because there's nowhere to put that stuff. And especially with Steelhead, I know they had record numbers this year. I guarantee that that transition space was tight. So you can ask an official if there's like a tree, like a, I don't know, concrete area and then it's got some grass and a tree. As long as it doesn't impede another athlete, usually an official is going to be like, yeah, fine, put your bag there. Or you can put it maybe along the sides of the fence of transition area. If you have a Sherpa, that's a great option. Or if you're, if it's feasible for you to walk back to your car, sometimes these places are really far away. But if it's feasible for you to walk back to your car and put your stuff in there, do that. Less is more when it comes to transition. Take only what you need, nothing more. In closing, I want to remind everybody about the Oak Brook Half Marathon coming up. There you go. On Monday, September 7th, it's Labor Day. And as a special bonus for all of you watching today, we're gonna give you a discount just for watching this video. If you enter the code TRIRIGHT15, T-R-I-R-I-G-H-T, 15, you'll receive $15 off your entry fee. You don't have to do it, doesn't matter to me, but if you are interested, this is my bonus to you. Thank you so much. Keep the questions coming. We'll see you next week. Happy training.